This is the IQI 32-foot USB 3.0 active extension cable. Let's take it out of the bag. So in the bag, you get the extension cable here, along with a power supply. So over here, USB 3.0. There is a junction point in the center of the cable. Bear that in mind. That stays connected like that. It doesn't come apart, anything. And this end here is USB, just the female version of that plug over there. And here is where your device will plug in. Also has a jack on it for the power supply, as you see here. So at the computer end, you just need the USB cable plugged in. At the far end of it is where the power supply is going to plug in right there. And this entire cable is 32 feet long. It's an extension cable. Now, USB 3 specifications specify that the length of a USB 3 cable should be no longer than approximately 10 feet. Now, there are cables out there that will skirt the system. You might find a 15. It might work. But sometimes you just have much longer distances that you need to connect stuff over USB. Now this could be any number of devices. It could be a webcam, a keyboard, a mouse, printer, scanner, a flash drive, external hard drive, or any number of other USB devices. The classic example is a scanner or a printer because you may not have room on your actual work surface desk, but you might have a piece of furniture off on the side, or maybe even in the next room if you're not worried about drilling a, a you know large enough hole in the wall, or you have a pass-through or something like that, and you're going to put a printer there because that way it's out of the way. You don't have to hear the noise it makes, and that's where it's convenient to put it. I mean, you got to make do with the space that you have. So there's many different use cases for. Uh, USB extension cables, you'll know if you need one because cables otherwise wouldn't be long enough. So let me go and go ahead and hook this up. I'm just going to hook it up with a mouse. Obviously, I'm not going to undo all of this because that's way, way too much for just a mouse. But in particular circumstances, maybe you have a gigantic screen TV and you want a mouse. And even a wireless mouse, the wireless transmission may not reach, but you can put the receiver plugged in here closer to the wireless mouse where you're going to be sitting, and that way operate that uh, on this giant, giant screen TV. So let's get this hooked up. So very simply, we're going to apply power to the port at the far end over here, like that. Okay. Here is a mouse. So I'm going to plug that in also to the far end, okay? And then the other end of the extension cable is going to plug into the computer here. And we'll just give that just a moment for it to enumerate. And indeed, that works. I'll show you up close. See, there's the mouse pointer, and indeed, it moves around just as if it were plugged in directly. And we're going through 32 feet of cable, as you see with that extender. Absolutely fantastic. When you need it, you need it. And this device is here for you from iQI. If you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find the item available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.